been a couple of times where he's dabbled with a couple of other characters. But apart from that, he's been very, very solidly on that Mario, always playing it regardless of the matchup. And the interesting thing is that we still see Ally feeling like, oh yeah, Mario can't do it. And he has been struggling a little bit, but he's still stuck to his gut. He's still stuck to that Mario. And I think that could surprise a lot of people, right? Here, seeing a player of, of his caliber, right, um, say such things about his ca um, his character Mario, it may lead one to believe that the fact that if he if it seems like he doesn't have that much faith in the character's ability, mm -hmm. that it might lead to his own downfall, right? Yes. But actually, I, I mean, I feel like Ally is starting to come back. I, I feel it. I see the determination. He actually wants to train more and, and produce um, good results. To remind the people that he's still here. He's still a contender. Yes, one of the best back in the days of Brawl. One of the best back in the earlier days of Smash 4. And he definitely still wants to make his mark oh, yes. today. That's it. And here it is both of the players showing respect to each other via DAP. We have our boy Baby Blade on the stage. And we're diving right into it. Smashville, game one. Let's go. Ally versus Koma Rikiri and already Ally immediately going for that charge. Now that flood is going to be a problem for Cloud as he's trying to come back on stage. That it is. And we already see that's what Ally is so good at. Forcing Cloud off stage, putting him in that recovery position where he is so vulnerable a lot of the time. Absolutely. I think one of the best things about that tool too is that if Komorikiri has a limit, he can use that to force Komorikiri to burn the limit. And, and now... And already oh. limit's gone. Ooh, so close with that sweet spot. So close indeed. I was expecting the spike. Right now, Ally's showing that he definitely has a lot, you know, he has the lead, he has some confidence too, and he's biding his time. He's not trying to actually press his advantage too much. As you can see, Komori Kiri was just waiting for him to get within back air range. Yes, that he was. Komori being very, very patient, doesn't want to overcommit, knowing that he does have this deficit. Meanwhile, Ally knows that he doesn't want to try to force his way in too hard, otherwise he's going to get clipped by that back air, as he has time and time and again. Finally, Komo taking the stage. Amazing chase right there by Komori Kiri. And it looked like Ally actually almost landed that forward smash as Komo landed. Just a little bit off the mark. But Excellent use of the down smash. The back hit being stronger than the forward hit. Taking out that stock pretty early. Right there, Ally in the lead. And I love his usage right here of the down air as well. You know, Mario's tend to use, they overshoot that tool to catch opponents as they go in the air. No! Komori Kiri did not flinch whatsoever. Actually stayed in shield the entire time. Such determination coming out from Komori Kiri. Even at this deficit, he knows that as long as, he's, as long as he remains patient and vigilant, he's able to get those big hits and, and take the stock. Only a 6% lead. Absolutely. You saw him right there just following the drift. And now both of these players are on their final stock. Ally, not trying to press again. He doesn't want to get too foolhardy, but takes some percentage right there, getting caught by that back air. And now we see Komori Kiri carefully playing on the Smashville platform, primarily staying to it when it's above the stage. Because if he gets knocked off, if he makes a mistake, he'll be in a very bad position. Ally coming in with a... Right there. Trump once again, and the cape! Tried to get another one, but a high recovery right there by Komori Kiri. Very smart. Yes, very, very smart indeed. Komori does like to mix up how he recovers, and he needs to as Cloud. And I love that right there by Ally. Instead of going for the grab, just putting out all those hitboxes with the jab. Komori Kiri electing to go on the platform yet again. Finally finds his way down with that down air. Doesn't get the auto cancel to convert though. Ally waiting patiently. Does not try to chase after seeing that down air. Respects the fact that it can auto cancel good shield right there by Komori Kiri. Absolutely. Now limit is online. The dynamic of this match will definitely change. Komo most likely going to play a little bit faster. Maybe a little bit more aggressive to try and get those hits. Oh, that was so smart. Actually expecting the flood and gets aggressive with that up air. Komori Kiri right now putting Ally in a bad position. Yes, excellent sharking coming out from Komo. Finally taking the lead in this game. Beautifully spaced with that back air as well. Oh no, diving too low! And the SD right at the end. Komo Rikiri missing the angle. He definitely tried to go for maybe like a, a, a reverse up B, I yes, believe. Absolutely. But, uh, instead, got a reverse cross slash resulting in an SD. And I have to say, Remember, guys, what we mentioned before about the fact that Mario doesn't have that range. Ally was really trying his hardest to land there with that neutral air, and you saw Komori Kiri spacing him out. But right there, very fortunate for Ally, able to get one on the board. But I know Komori Kiri being such an amazing player, he'll be able to bounce back. That he will. He's very, very close in that game. That's why we see that run back to Smashville. And we see right now Ally's tools to try to catch Komori Kiri as he go in, goes into the air. Up airs and down airs. There it is again. Gets some percentage on the board. Puts Komo in the air, but Komo escapes. Yes, excellent reset to new from Komo right there, but a quick grab into the up air. Beautiful combo coming out from Ally. That was really interesting, using yeah. up air at that percentage too to get the conversion. Mm -hmm. 
Never seen that one. Nice respect by Ally again. He's looking to get these back airs. He has to realize when Komorikiri has some real estate, he's able to actually retreat. Oh, oh no. Once Sweet spot again. again. Here it is. Ally this time actually getting a little defensive, running away from Komorikiri a little bit. Still has a percentage lead, though. Yes. Now, Komo using that limit, using that speed advantage that he has, trying his best to space around Ally. But Ally is finding those opportunities to break into his zone, get those quick moves. And now I want to see if Ally's going to be able to get his up smash right there, showing his hand maybe a little bit with that down smash, or I think it's just a misclick. Oh, that looked like a pretty intentional down smash to me. He even went for the perfect pivot, maybe just a little bit off on the spacing though. Ah, here we go. Ally, trying to get back on stage. A little off with the timing on that F tilt with the normal edge get up from Ally. Once again, we see Komori Kiri retreating to the platform, just remaining patient as he's able to charge limit. Doesn't want to be too aggressive with his landing because he knows that up smash will take his stock. That's right. You see him using short hops away from the range of the up smash. Getting a bit aggressive, goes for that fair. Now, how will we see this ledge trap situation? Good up air coming out from Komori Kiri. A bit of a trade right there, but Komo still in a good position. Ally actually peeking his head a little bit above the edge with that super jump punch. Once again, last situation on this stock. Good neutral air coming out from Komori Kiri. So precise. Ally, let's see if he goes for the normal getup. Nope, this time goes for the jump. jump. Re grab the ledge, but didn't get punished, but the up air finding its mark on that ledge jump. Right there, a lot of patient play. Two minutes off of the clock. And Ally trying to see if he can get a bait right there with his movement on Komori Kiri. Komo, again, he's, he, he's not afraid at this percent to get grabs for Mario. Soon the back throw will be a threat. But the key thing in order for that back throw to not be a threat, Komo has to re retain center stage. He has to play the center in order to keep alive. Otherwise, Ally will be able to apply the pressure that he wants to, and he'll be putting himself in a precarious position. Right now, it looks like Ally is just trying to follow these drifts from Komori Kiri. Good, able to get just the two hits off the super jump punch. And now Komori Kiri has to burn limit. See the option? Cloud just so fast. Oh, he wanted a roll. That was so good from Ally. The amount of pressure that he was able to apply just from that little box drop back and forth and able to get the back throw. I love it. I mean, after realizing how much Komori Kiri is just quite content with staying in shield. Oh, Ally actually going for up tilt instead of a re-grab in that situation, allowing Komori Kiri to escape. Once again, see Komori Kiri just sitting on this platform, waiting for those opportunities to charge Limit. Very close, and now he has it once again. He's off the stage! All that pressure, Limit gone again. Doing such a fantastic job of getting rid of Limit. That Nair, though, putting him in a bad spot. Yes, once again, the ledge trapping from Cloud. Very, very strong. Neutral air, up air. Okay, Ally on stage. Trying to read Komo's movement. Komo escapes yet again. Yes, excellent jump away to avoid the potential empty jump grab coming out from Ally. And these back airs doing so much work for Komori Kiri. Are we going to see the down airs? Oh, he goes straight up for a grab. Komori Kiri falls off stage. Here's one back air. Trying to look for a double jump. Oh, and that is going to. Oh, but he has jump left. Excellent use of the downward strike from Komori Kiri. And now he's able to reset the situation. That was absolutely clutch right there. I can't believe he went for that very risky stuff, but Ally didn't see it coming. Gets the, the back, back throw. throw. Is that enough? No, not quite yet. Goes for the flood as well. Komori Kiri commits to the climb hazard. That might be the end. Does and the that march? is it. 2-0 so far to Ally in set. Right there taking many deep breaths in this situation. Very, very clutch stuff so far from Ally. Able to keep the lead after that first game. Komori Kiri not making it easy, though. Absolutely not. These games have been down to the wire. They've been so, so close. The first one obviously being that mishap. And the second one, an excellent play coming out from Ally. But... Will Komori Kiri remain composed? Will he be able to bring this back? Only time will tell in this situation. We're going back to Smashville, not changing the stage as these guys just love the scenery here. A beautiful scenery it is, the nighttime glow. KK is not here though, not here to entertain the audience. Yeah, unfortunately it is not Saturday, but you know, here we go. Ally again in a ledge trap situation, trying to go for these grabs, but there it is, yes. that down air. Yo, it's paying in dividends for him so much. Absolutely, getting him so much damage, so much of that early damage. But meanwhile, these back airs once again from Komori Kiri, creating this great wall of Buster Sword. And notice how Komori Kiri noticed after all those short hops that he did, he realized he's going to have to mix up his pattern. He can't get too predictable, right? Because that's what Ally wants to do. He wants to notice when can his Mario find the time to squeeze in an up air or a down air. Yeah, we see the adjustments in Komori Kiri's timing in his pressure, but that could have been something really, really huge coming out from Ally. Unfortunately, he drops the combo right there. Again, Komori Kiri just waiting till Ally commits to a dash to go for those jumps. Oh, Ally looking for an opportunity to possibly go for an up air, I feel. 
And what we're seeing a lot from Komo as well, we're seeing him punctuate his short hop pressure with full hops in order to try and get over Mario and then punish with something like a neutral air to hit from below. Here's the opportunity, okay? Just two up airs, and right now, a little bit of an opportunity to get the flood as well. This would help him out in this matchup as Komo does have full limit. Again, both players being very, very busy. Incredible! Just waiting for the other to make the first move. Yes, very tense situation here. And Komori Kiri getting Ally off stage. This could allow him to take that stock early, but Ally again. Oh, beautiful! Power shield! He needed that perfect shield and almost got the back hit of the down smash right there by Komori Kiri grabbing Edge immediately. Yes. Unable to land there, takes a hit from that back air. Another great back air coming out from Ally. Komori having his jump and the deep nair! Is that going to be enough? Beautiful as off-stage play coming out from C9's ally and Como potentially on his tournament stock. Fully charged right now with that flood. Ally having such a tough time landing yet again. Good stuff by Komori Kiri. Trying to cover that drift with the dash attack. Takes the stock and we're at one stock apiece. Only 1%, 9% now between these two. Let's jump again. Back here! Does not get the stock though. Ally still has this cloud in the air. And it's crazy because usually that's what cloud does to other people. Again! Komori Kiri having such a tough time. Ally able to get some percentage, drops the combo. And you saw how he was actually mixing up where he was going to land, too, from that down air. Yeah, very, very clever stuff coming out from C9 Ally. That's just a testament to his experience, his veteran status as a player. He is so good at that situational recognition. Uh-oh, Komori Kiri. It looks like all these short hops are not working out anymore. He's going to need to find a different way in order to approach Ally. He's going to need to be careful with how he's placing these back airs and where he's putting these jumps. Again, that ally spacing has just been impeccable this game. And I love how he forced them to jump right there, going for all these jabs at the edge. Okay, Ally, setting up for a back throw possibly. Komori Kiri could still bring it back though. Cloud that he can. Does, with Rage, he can be quite scared to deal with. That Blade Beam had such a nice touch to it. Definitely. Not a move that you see very often from Cloud, of course, but every now and then, he does find it useful. Okay, nice conversion right there by Ally, pushing Komori Kiri. On the platform, Cormac Curry fighting back with the dash attack, trying to get center stage yet again. Almost fully charged. He's on the verge. But the up smash, finally! The anti-air up smash, we haven't seen that throughout the entire set, but it was able to close out the set spectacularly for Ally. 3-0. Oh. I have to say, one of the best things about that up smash right there from Ally is noticing how Cormac Curry, he was putting himself in a position where he, he you know, the threat was not. You saw him landing right there on top of Ally, and Ally was like,